guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Bianca and welcome to my YouTube channel where I just record whatever I want to record and post it on YouTube and wow it's been a while guys I know I said I was taking a break did not mean for the break to be this long I hope you guys didn't miss me too much but I've missed you I've missed recording and that is why I came to record this video today I'm actually recording my video during the day so like you know New York traffic because why is somebody's car going off right now as soon as I decide to record this is going to be a different type of video compared to what I have posted the past like what couple of months in the sense that it's not a reaction video boom it's actually going to be a skincare video talking about my skin yo get your car together So yeah, we're gonna be doing a skincare video today and I wanted to make just one quick like announcement about my Between Us reaction series. I noticed that episode 11 is not posted in some countries or is not be able to be viewed in certain countries and that is because of a copyright strike which makes no sense because I didn't get a copyright strike for literally the whole series but whatever. Still trying to get that copyright strike like appealed or whatever like because you can cut out moments that are copyright copyrighted which I did for like one part and then they came in back with it and said that there's a different part that was copyrighted and it was the part where they confessed their feelings for each other why would I want to cut out the moment when they finally said that they cared about each other like don't play with me YouTube do not play with me YouTube and do not play with me studio wabi sabi but we're gonna figure it out we are just going to get right into this video just want to say real quickly i am not a licensed professional esthetician i'm just telling you what i personally did um like always use your discernment if you feel the need go to a dermatologist go to an esthetician talk to them about these products like don't just take my word for it i don't know what i'm talking about i'm only talking about my own skin that's all i can talk about I can't talk about somebody else's skin. I don't know anybody else's skin but my own and I'm telling you what worked for me, what I did. Okay, so I just quickly wanted to just talk about my skincare routine and talk about my skincare journey. My skincare journey, like before March of 2020, was pretty non-existent. I really didn't have a skincare routine. I just washed my face, lotioned it, maybe didn't wash my face. I was definitely giving very, man when it came to my face routine and my skincare routine where I didn't have one I didn't really drink water either and I pretty much ate like shit and March 20 I had noticed like I had a lot of little bumps on my forehead and I was just like mm, maybe it's time for me to get into my skincare routine maybe it's time for me to actually do that for myself and make that a priority so I started doing some research started watching some videos from black estheticians started just learning more about my skin learning what I needed in a skincare routine other than just like soap and a moisturizer you know and that's where I found out you know you should have a toner and different serums and sunscreen is important even if you're black <laughs> I'll say that around May or like the end of April is when I bought all my products after I had done like some research and figure out what it what it was that I wanted and what I wanted to do with my skin and y'all there was this product that I will not name drop that all the esthetician girlies were raving about were making videos about saying how it's it's amazing and it it helps get out your blackheads and and it cleanses your pores da -da 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 -da. And I fell for the hype. I fell for the hype. I bought this product because one thing I always had like blackheads in my pores and um, close to my nose and on my nose. Like, and I always really wanted to get them out. I used to watch Dr. Pimple Popper videos where she would put the little tool on, on people's faces and get the blackheads out. Like I wanted that tool so bad. And then they showed me this product where if you wash it on your face, it's kind of like that tool where it gets it out. I want to say around May 12th when I had my products I first did my skincare routine okay so I opened it and I should have been alarmed 
from the get-go. I should have been alarmed from jump because it had a very strong odor. It had a very strong scent. It was very lemony, limey scent. And I have very sensitive skin. I had no business. I had no business putting that on my face. I had no business putting it on my face, but we live, we learn. It did get the blackheads out of my pores. It did the job. It did what it said it would do. It was cleansing out my pores and I was like, oh wow, it works. Forget the fact that it smells like this and I should be scared. It works. So then I continued to do my skincare routine with the whole like washing my face because you know this was this was to like get get the dirt out of my pores. And then you wash your face and then I did like you know the toner and all that other all that other good stuff. And then the next day like I kind of broke out a little bit. And instead of trying to figure out what broke me out, try to figure out like, is it just my skin getting used to the new products? Try to figure out what the fuck is happening. I just decided to do the same thing over again. I just decided to do the same routine over again and expected things to be okay. <laughs> I expected things to be okay, but they weren't okay. So I did the skin in her routine a second day in a row and I went to sleep May 13th. May 14th, I woke up and I scared myself. Oh, damn. I looked scary. I looked bad. <laughs> so as you can see from like the pictures, I hope I still have it on the screen. I had like a lot of little micro bumps, the same micro bumps that I had wanted to fix. Same little micro bumps, had them on my forehead. And then I had such angry pus filled bumps like on my cheeks and stuff. And when I think back on like how I used that terrible product, I didn't really focus it that much on my forehead because I didn't have that, I don't have that much blackheads and like whiteheads on my forehead. It's mostly my nose and my cheek area, especially like right here. So that's where a lot of my breakout happened. <sighs> Y'all, it was just so scary. Everybody felt bad for me in my house. Okay, every single person felt so bad for me. My sister saw me and she jumped back in fright like, oh, damn. I'm sorry. And I just had to like, just go with it. Please know I cried. I allowed myself to be very sad. I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried. Ugh, I was so, so frustrated and sad because like, you know, I really wanted to sit there and do something for myself and take care of my skin and then that happened instead. So it was just a very frustrating time for me. But you know, I let myself lay there and just take it and then I figured out what the fuck to do so I feel like just from what happened I, I have a couple of tips for you guys just already one do res research on like products do research on like your skin like when do you break out like just take pay attention to your body pay attention to your skin like do you have oily skin normal skin dry skin I have like mm, normal to oily skin a little bit mostly normal I only get oil like right here and sometimes on my forehead so mostly normal skin in the winter a little bit drier than in the summer just pay attention to your skin type um, and then also just do research on the type of products that you would need for your skin type or to or for whatever it, um, problem you're trying to target like if it's acne figure out what things you need to do to do to attack acne if it's dark marks figure out what you need to do to attack the dark marks and just going from there now when you buy your products whatever products it is whether you're gonna buy things that I recommended or not make sure that you don't add all of the new products in at once because maybe one thing breaks you out and the other things don't you you won't be able to tell what that one thing is that breaks you out slowly incorporating new facial products into your skincare routine is important as well as doing a little test patch testing something on your skin in like an area or even like just on your neck on your neck or on your chest like not your face not your whole face it's okay I promise y'all I'm over it because like I've gotten my skin into a place where I feel very confident again and I like think I'm hot as hell so I'm not that mad but it hurt me those are my couple of tips just so far, just from my mistake. I just want y'all to learn from my mistake. I don't want anybody to do what I did. And I feel like that leads me into my next tip. You know, I allow myself to be sad. Allow yourself to be sad if your skin isn't perfect. Like, it's not the end of the world, but like, 
you are valid to feel sad so i get it like i, I was there <laughs> and i was sad and one thing i did that i should have done before is when you buy new products also look up like reviews hating on the product you know some people might hate on the product and say like oh it didn't work it might not have worked for like their skin type however if you look up reviews and they're saying like bad perfume it breaks people out and it's multiple people saying that then you just gotta listen maybe that's just not the product you want to risk it and one person's videos that i watched a lot of is hiram i'll link him down below hiram is amazing i loved watching his videos he watched he actually made a video about the product that I used and I watched that after I had used it and if I had watched Hiram's video before I would have had a bigger understanding of like what the product was and just like how harmful that product could have been and like he literally said if you are allergic to perfumes and stuff if you you have sensitive skin like it would break you out and if I had heard that I would not have bought the product so definitely look up reviews of your products where people aren't talking as favorably about them just so you could get like the real nitty-gritty like the real tea I watch a lot of videos on this product but I'm pretty sure people were getting sponsored so there's that because I don't know what tank like skin y'all got for your face but i know that was that that broke up broke everybody out and everybody lied y'all were not putting that on your face i i bet you all those people that was talking about this product don't got that product in they in they bag no more do that out mm. i'm gonna continue so right now i'm going to tell you basically what my 2020 morning and night skincare routine was that kind of got my face to look like this to get all those bumps that y'all saw in that picture go on so like we're gonna start with my morning routine so the first thing I do is that I wash my face I usually wash my face in the shower so I use this I'm gonna let it focus back on my face simple micellar facial gel wash and it literally says deeply cleanses without skin feeling tight and that's literally how I want to describe it like my skin does not feel tight or like like all the moisture is sucked down my face like it feels very soft it feels very like like I don't know like I could not put any lotion on and still feel good you know like I can still feel moisturized and it is for dry and sensitive skin and I use it mostly like because you know sensitive but I don't have dry skin but it feels hydrating I like I like gel like facial products it just it just feels nice on my skin and I feel like it absorbs well into my skin as well I lather my face for 60 seconds and then I wash it off and I do not dry my face I just let it air dry usually I then would spritz with this rose water toner I would spritz over my face and then I would add my advanced snail mucin serum and I feel like this serum like I'll say it would just give me more hydration into my face like in the morning like that's kind of what its purpose was for me personally um just to like keep my skin smooth and I, I like I always really wanted to touch my skin after I would use the snail um serum I really love this snail serum it's actually a Korean product and honestly Koreans with their skincare products snap they snap every single time and <laughs> I want to definitely get more Korean skin products to definitely help with my um dark marks after doing the mucin serum I then spritz again with the rose water to just kind of seal that all in and then I use CeraVe's healing ointment which as a moisturizer I I was actually supposed to buy um I think the the moisturizer I think it says it's not healing ointment I don't know what it's supposed to say but it's like CeraVe's moisturizer or something like that daily moisturizer or something like that I was, I was supposed to buy that but I accidentally bought this love it love it so I, I just kept it I was like I'm not gonna give it back this is nice if you like Vaseline it's essentially like Vaseline to be quite honest um and you don't need a lot I don't I didn't show you guys like any of these other products but I want to show you the amount that I use for this one because when I say you don't need a lot you don't need a lot and I mean that like you should start small and then build it up if you think you're gonna need it so like I hope you guys can see that on camera like essentially this is how much I use 
for my face and even this like it's a lot like I'm not even gonna lie to y'all like that was a lot for your face and I feel like it's very moisturized it'll have you looking like a glazed donut if you use too much because the first time I'm telling y'all I never do anything by half so when I use products bro the first time I did it I looked like a glazed donut like I dug my finger in there and went Psh. then I put on some banana boat SPF 30 and it's oil free and non greasy and it's specifically for faces I've always used banana boat products for sunscreen even when I was a kid I know people talk about like sunscreen having giving you a great cast but I have never found that with banana boat for me personally I don't know how this would fare on people who have skin darker than me that's basically what my morning routine is and well what my morning routine was in May of 2020 after I had that terrible reaction and then my night routine it's pretty much the same thing I wash my face with the simple micellar facial gel wash um I would air dry use the rose water toner um and then I would use the snail serum and then this is kind of where things got a little different where I would use the Seraphy Seraphy resurfing retinol serum which listen to me this is what got rid of the bumps okay if you want to know what got rid of my bumps this is what got rid of my bumps she did the damn job she she clocked in overtime actually she she worked hard and we're gonna give her her flowers okay CeraVe CeraVe will always get their coin out of me because this this and this they gonna stay in my skincare regimen I don't care so I do this and then this and I feel like at night like this just adds because right now is a little bit like not damaging but it's a little harsh like in the sense where they wouldn't recommend you to put retinol on in the morning without sunscreen like if you put retinol on in the morning you need to use sunscreen because like the sun hits you like it could just fuck with your skin but I feel like the snail essence just kinds of length not lengthens but like lessens yes lessens how harsh the retinol serum is and then I spray again with my rose water and then I do my CeraVe healing ointment and no sunscreen because like it's nighttime and that's basically my routine and that's basically what I would do day in day out from May 2020 to like well now I feel like the only thing that I've changed really in my skincare routine is in the morning I now exercise and I do break out more when I exercise like because of sweat so I use these Stridex skin pads and they have salicylic acid in them so they just really help me with not sweating and not not sweating with not breaking out because of my sweat and they got like cute little pads for you to just use and wipe on your face and I do also wipe it on my chest and my arms and my upper back because those break out as well because I sweat like now when I do when I use the salicylic acid I use it after I have washed my face I use the salicylic acid well I use the stridex pads that has salicylic acid in it and then I start going in with my toner and like the routine is the same from then on you know the serums the rose water again the CeraVe the um sunscreen very basic i've kept it very simple since 2020 the same thing i did back then same thing i do now and i feel like my skin is really healthy really good i feel like all of these products are pretty affordable like nothing is past 20 dollars here nothing here is past 20 dollars like maybe like 18 16 17 dollars at max I'm gonna just like go through a timeline I'm gonna post pictures and stuff of like my skin and how it was looking so you know I showed y'all May 14th 2020 the first first day after it, it, it was just all bad like it was just all bad in these pictures like I feel like y'all are gonna see like a dead stare in my eyes because I was dead inside June 17th I would say my my cheeks still looked very upset they still looked angry with me like the bumps were red and pus filled and like 
they just weren't going anywhere and I feel like I was getting frustrated and I did something that I would not recommend you guys do but I do feel like was pretty effective was I would put the CeraVe on in the morning and at night and this was before I had done the research to realize that I should not put it on in the morning because I just noticed that the CeraVe really calmed the bumps down so I was just like I need to use the CeraVe I need to use the retinol serum like the retinol is what's helping me so I would just try and use it a lot and I do feel like that is maybe what made my dark marks get darker um over time because I was using it like twice a day and even then like I, f I feel like I would put it on throughout the day like I was really using the retinol serum a lot and then properly so so like June 11th and 17th I will say like the first thing that started clearing up was my forehead the little rash like bumps on my forehead they weren't that big they weren't that pus filled they were all like really tiny um and they started clearing up and then by my birth by the time my birthday came which was a month later essentially like J july 15th i feel like i just had a lot of dark marks at that time because i feel like um the angry bumps on my cheeks were going down and like just kind of just leaving the acne marks the dark marks um my forehead was pretty much all cleared up and it was really just the dark marks that were starting to bother me at this point in time so at that time i had talked to one of my friends i don't remember who told me about this and i would recommend that you use this lightly or you use your own discretion with what i'm about to tell you i use this natural concoction um, of one tablespoon of turmeric one tablespoon of honey and a splash of lemon juice and I would mix that up make it like a little thick don't make it too runny don't make it too runny don't make it too thick like right in the middle give it some like Goldilocks treatment you feel me and just put it over your dark marks you could put it on your dark marks on like your face for like acne you could put it under your arms if your ar underarms are dark you put it on your elbows, your knees, all this stuff, and it lightens up your dark marks. And I basically, the first time I did that, my dumb ass did that every single day because I'm telling you, I don't do anything in moderation. <laughs> I did it every single day and I noticed like bumps starting to come back up. Somebody told me, they were like, you shouldn't do it every single day because honey is in it and honey is so thick and like, it's sugar and like like that will break out your skin so then I took it down to doing it only twice a week and I would leave it on for about like 10 minutes I believe 10 minutes 20 minutes I, I would leave it on and then I would wash it off so like a couple of things to say it has turmeric in it so it will stain your face <laughs> it's gonna stain you like it's just it's just gonna stain your skin a little bit like so like you have to wash it off properly it'll stain your sink if it's not stainless steel so like be very cautious with it like wear clothes that you don't care about getting dirty if you're washing a sink that isn't stainless steel i do recommend that you just like wash the sink right after just so to avoid like permanent stains when july 15th came around my birthday came around i felt very good i felt very happy that was my first time putting makeup on since the breakout happened because i didn't want to irritate anything on my face and one thing with with makeup like i have been I haven't really mastered how to make texturized skin look flat with my makeup so like you can see texture when I do my makeup if I have a bump or something and I feel like even in those pictures like even when I saw the texture it wasn't like too much like it wasn't crazy it was just like on my cheeks a little bit which I felt was doable which I felt okay with I was able to cover up the dark marks and I just was like wow like my skin is actually getting somewhere like we're getting somewhere now and after my birthday that's when I started doing the turmeric mix and like I started seeing a difference in the amount of dark marks so I have a picture from August 22nd where I don't like I don't know I don't feel like there's much of a change between I don't know I do feel like there is a change in like darkness like but there's just so much dark marks like it's not gonna be really noticeable for you guys I feel but I'll try and do a side by side for my August 22 August 22nd pictures and my July 15 pictures but there were just like a little less dark marks and even the dark marks that were there just seemed a lot less not less visible but like they were starting to fade 
but then I really enjoyed when September 20 September 24th came I look like a glazed donut I look so I just want to I want to show y'all right now I'm gonna turn it around I look so hydrated and like my skin looked so happy and healthy like my skin that's the best my skin looked at that point September 24th like that's the day that goes down in history like you know I still had a little bit of bumps here and there but like I wasn't mad at it at that point in time I don't I think if I had been drinking more water that would have helped me as well but I had not been drinking water I didn't start like really actually I won't even say I like drinking water I didn't actually just start drinking more water until like 2022 so I'm not one of those people that's gonna tell you that water tastes good it tastes like nothing it has no taste <laughs> it tastes like nothing all water tastes the same and it tastes like nothing like I might as well just swallow air but I do drink a lot more water now and I will say that that has helped my skin in a lot more in the past year like I feel like my skin glows a lot more and I do feel like my breakouts are a lot less so September 24th that's the last time I really like documented my my skin I'm gonna take pictures of like what my skin looks like now and I can just generally say like I do still have dark marks I did stop doing the turmeric mix like I don't know why it just it just started getting a little bit too much for me I am still very consistent with my skincare routine I still do it like Sometimes I do not do it twice a day. Sometimes I can only do it once a day. I only got the energy to do it once a day. And I just extend grace to myself for that. But I do take my skincare very serious. And I definitely feel like that breakout or that terrible reaction um, like served a, a bigger purpose in my life to allow me to be consistent with my skincare and like actually take care of my skin and have a lot more pride in my skin and stuff like that like taking those two minutes to just look at myself and just prep my skin up you know like doing your skincare is just real nice like it's a nice time i enjoy it <laughs> i do enjoy it even though sometimes i do have to talk myself into doing it and i usually drink like four to six bottles of water a day at this point in my life now which <laughs> trust me college Bianca teenage Bianca younger Bianca was not drinking this amount of water I have drank more water in this past year I feel like I've drank in my whole life and you know if you hydrate from inside out like your skin is only going to reflect that and maybe if you don't like drinking water you can also eat water eat vegetables and fruits that are high in water apples watermelon um cucumber celery i do believe lettuce as well all high in water so you can always do that so i just hope that from this video you guys got a couple of tips i just wanted to talk about my skincare journey and tell you guys what i did to help myself get out of a really bad skincare time and just like i hope that anybody who is currently having skincare issues whether it be because of like hormones or just like acne or just a terrible reaction a allergic reaction a chemical reaction whatever is causing you to be displeased with like your skin right now it is okay allow yourself to be sad it, you are valid to be upset with your skin it is okay you will find something whether it's a product that I have here there is some product out there on the market that is for you that will help you as and as long as you're consistent with it you'll be golden I promise you that it is okay you are still beautiful you are still worthy of life you are still worthy of nice things even if your skin isn't the nicest so like don't don't stress too much don't fret too much you know but I basically just hope that this video taught you some lessons um taught you some tips I hope you learned from my mistakes so that you don't repeat these mistakes and so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that you took something from this video and I really hope that I will see you in the next one we are coming up with a reaction video next time so I'm excited what am I gonna react to next <gasps> It's such a surprise, I don't even know. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and to share with a friend. Like, don't be stingy now. Like, if you got a friend who's trying to get some skincare tips,
go ahead and share this video with them. Help them out. Help, help somebody out. But yeah, so I will see you guys next time. And bye.